game to catch up. Ba -doop -boop. Welcome, all you plus two common modifiers, to another episode of the Not Prawn Riddle. Uh, I am having major problems with my microphone right now, uh, but I think I fixed it. Yay! Fixed. This is the world's hardest riddle, a riddle solved by 60-ish people in about 14 years. And I plan to be uh, number 62-ish. I don't know. Uh, and I plan to do it with only my mind, this yellow notebook, and your help in the comments and in the chat. And speaking of which, we are still stuck on level 77. And I received a really big hint about this level. And apparently the answer to this level lies in this yellow notebook. So, real cat... We're... Blah, 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 blah. I just can't, I, I've been having trouble talking for the last couple days. Uh, here's what we got going on. Let me pull up a quick review of what's happening. Or not. I was going to do a, I was going to do a whole thing, but now I'm not going to do a whole thing. Okay. <laughs> In any case, here's what's going on. The name of this level is Blood on the Rooftops, which we know is a song by the band Genesis. That is pretty much the only solid thing that we figured out. Everything else has been blind guessing. But you may notice in a past uh, live stream, because I think this is the third live stream we've done on this level. This microphone's really pissing me off today. Uh, we've done three streams on this level. Uh, I said... There was a level where Mickey Mouse was the answer. Basically, you had to use Google Maps. You got coordinates, and when you went to that coordinates, you could see a very nice Mickey Mouse. I'm still fixing this microphone. I've realized, after I got this hint, that every time I see weird stuff, I always sing the line from... Um, Dr. Horrible, we do the weird stuff. But I've been doing that on this stream for a while because weird stuff was also a password. So let's look through here real quick and let's find what those levels were. So, going through this. Weird stuff, that was the answer to level 19, was weird stuff. And then Mickey Mouse was 35. So this is referencing level 35 and level 19, which I hopefully still have bookmarks for. Right, level 35? Is that what I said? Level 35. As you can see, it says keyhole.com, which I, I think is a website similar to Google Maps. I use Google Maps. Um, but the answer to this comes from... New page source... You see here, I'll make this bigger for everybody. There's the north coordinates, and then there was other coordinates somewhere else. Trust me, there was. <laughs> I don't know where they are, but these coordinates and then the... Uh, East-West coordinates gave you a picture of Mickey Mouse. So, interesting. Why does this look weird? It looks like Firefox updated. I just wasn't ready for it. Uh, and then 19 is the other one I need. So let me see if I got that in my bookmarks still. No, apparently I have 18. But I think I'll, I have the password written down. I hope. Let 
Yes. All right. So the answer to this was death. Rude. Rude, rude, rude. So... I forget how we got to weird stuff. Let's... Yeah, I think this was a... Yeah, this is a rot. The, the finger's pointing backwards, so you're supposed to move it one letter back. So one letter back from X is W, one letter back from E is, from F is E, from J is I. It spells weird stuff, and that's the answer. Hey, Jesse, welcome. Uh, so, where do we go? Where do we go oh, from here? Because we know the answer to this is weird stuff, and we know the answer to this is Mickey Mouse. What does that have to do with this, though? There's a blank spot in between them? Um... But Mickey Mouse is later, so it's not like there's only one thing between it, because Mickey Mouse is level 35 and 19 is, yeah, and stuff. You guys sent this one out, Jesse? Okay. Well, thanks for stopping by to say, to, to, you know, say hello. No. Oh. Well, thanks for upping my numbers. <laughs> To monetize yourself on, on Twitch, you have to uh, average three viewers per stream. And I actually stream too much without, like, promoting it. So I end up screwing up my numbers. So that, I appreciate it. Oh! All right, so Jesse's got insider info. Uh, so, uh, all right, I will recap what I got going on here, just so I can hear it again. This was the answer to level 35. This was the answer to level 19. Uh, I don't, oh, I bet it's a Bible verse. Genesis 35, 19. I will spell Genesis wrong, like I do every time. Mm. Ready for a little bit of Bible Bible voice? <clears throat> Genesis thirty five nineteen. So Rachel died and was burned on the way to. Bethlehem, or Ephrat. So, you know, I've been saying this a lot. When you click on this, you get the password thing, and it's Elvis and Graceland. And, you know, Graceland is like a museum to Elvis, but I kept saying, uh, it's also his grave. So perhaps the answer is Rachel and whatever, Bethlehem or whatever the other thing was. So, Rachel, uh, I actually, hold on, cancel. I'm just going to write these words into the chat <laughs> so I have them. Ephrat and Bethlehem. Uh, 
Uh, I just want to make sure it's probably right. Lee Hemp. Okay. There we go. Now they're in the chat. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm a little nervous because, like I said, uh, the, the folks at Not Prawn or, or the, the Legion of Knights of Not Prawn have told me to stop after level 79, and I'm going to. So this might be the last episode. All right. Rachel? Bethlehem. Yeah, I'm going with Bethlehem first. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. Are you the right answer? You are! Oh, yeah! Feels good. Inside. Alrighty. Save. Bookmark. And now for something completely different. And now for something completely different, I believe is from Monty Python. I think that is a Monty Python reference. Cat and a soccer ball. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's uh, get rid of what we don't need. View to page source here. Oh boy, we got a bunch of interesting stuff here. Let's get this nice and big so everyone can see it. All right, so. One is we got a different song. Uh, which is not playing. Yeah, now that uh, something happened to, to Firefox and it looks different and now the music doesn't play. But I, I can get it to play. So we got a MIDI, a MIDI file, which uh, I haven't thought about MIDI files in a decade. Uh, but it's called Blue Boo. We got the image of the cat, which is called Pee Pie. And then we got this interesting jazz here. Put left arm forward. All right, ready? I'm gonna line lay up here. Ah, I've unplugged my camera as I tried to make room for myself. Damn it! Damn it! Fucking camera, I'm bracking. Come back to me, webcam. Okay, <clears throat> put your left arm forward and form a 90 degree angle with your body. All right, so this is, this is 90 degrees. Right. Put your left hand up and let it be in line with your body. Put your left arm to the left. Let's get a turn now. <laughs> Until it is 135 degrees of the basic Get my mouse over here. Until it's 135 degrees of the basic decision. All right. Um, so this would be 90. So it's like, think about here. You getting all, you getting all this? <laughs> Put your left hand in your waist and let there be some space between your arm and your body. In your waist? All right, so now I'm a teapot. Put your left arm to form a 90 degree angle with your body. Okay. Right arm something. Put your right arm forward and form a 90 degree angle with your body. Boop. 90 degrees. Put your right arm up and let it be in line with your body. Oh, yeah. This is fun. <laughs> Put your right arm to the right until it's halfway being side and up. So, like, from like here. Put your hand in your waist. And let there be some space between your arm and your body. There you go. Back to this. Put 
Put your right arm to the side before a right angry angle. Okay, and if I if I do those together, it's this, and then it's this. Right, all right. So it's Frankenstein roller coaster. And then it's wait, what is what's the second for the left arm oh, here? Thirty-five degree angle. So then it's like this, kind of. It's it's like disco fever, disco fever, disco fever. And then it's it's Superman. <laughs> and then it's it's T post. <laughs> I have a wall here. Uh, and then step left leg. Oh God, I'm gonna need to. Clear a space for me to dance. Put your left leg forward and stretch it to form a 90 degree angle with your body. I don't know if I'm limber enough for this. Put your right leg forward and stretch it to form a 90 degree angle with your body. Put your left foot about 50 centimeters. To what is this? <laughs> uh, pretend you're stamped. What would you be? Lay down on the ground. Gladly. Put your legs together, stand up straight, arms straight along your body. Reset. Okay. So this this part is telling me what each command is. So if it's if it says left foot Okay. So right, okay, this is what it's saying. If, if it says left foot out, or left arm out, it's this. Left arm up is this. Upside is that. Okay. All right, so we then have to then apply these func the function code that's down here. So it's do these things. So reset, then do these things. Reset, then do these things. Reset, then do these things. All right, cool. <laughs> I don't know if there's a good area for me to get up and do all these things, but it's going to make a great video if I do that. So I'm going to figure that out for sure. Um, maybe I'll, I'll shoot this down the hallway or something. Um, but before we do that, there is a song to listen to. source code yes please open this open this midi here we go or actually I guess it would be hokey pokey You don't have to Shazam it. Sounds like the bonus level of a video game. Where's my Shazam? Positive energy by the weekday wind down. This is a jazzy beat. Okay, so real quick. <laughs> Go back here. Jesse's already solved it. 
while I was dancing like a fool. I just want to quick, do a quick check. There's nothing to click. I think I'm making myself into letters as well. That is also what I think. Uh, let me... Uh, everything's so messy. Actually, hold on a second. Ugh. I want to put up my backdrop real quick. Uh, I'm still here. I'm setting the stage for this stupid thing we're doing. Turn the video off. It didn't freeze. <laughs> Jesse, say things in the chat to make the video look live still. All right. I'm putting up a green screen. Whoa. Oh, no. The green screen has fallen on top of me. I've returned. <laughs> Thanks for promoting the product, Jesse. Uh, there we go. Nice little screen. Yeah, the. The product. I didn't say it was mine. All right, so let me turn my computer here. And let's get these instructions down. So, sorry, that, ah, my, my camera's actually broken. Don't mind my printer. <laughs> All right, where is the button for this so I can fix this? Come on. All right, so we got these functions here. So first it's arm waist stamp. And stamp's the stamp's like the confusing one, right? Stamp is just says like, pretend you're stamped. What would you be? What do you think that means, pretend you're stamped? All right, so the first one. Is stamp just the end of all of these? Yeah, they're all, it's the end of all of these. So I guess like you're stamped in place. All right, so this is the first one is right arm waist. And let's just double check what right arm waist is. Right arm waist is put your right hand in your waist and let there be some and let there be some space between you your arm and your body okay hi <laughs> so this we want to what do you want to call this a p maybe Maybe a P? All right. The Al Bundy. <laughs> that, that that would be in the that that's that's not quite waste. That's waistband. 
<laughs> All right, and then let's see what the next one is here. So we'll mark that as a P. I'll stick that in the chat box here. That one. P. Right and left arm up. So that's... I think we can call this an L. This is a pretty... I'm going to get on my knees. It's a pretty solid L, right? Pretty solid lowercase L. Uh. L or ah, what? I lost the uh, first off. Get off my screen. Lost the camera again because I, I keep sitting down and touching the cable. You get over here. This is, this is by far the best level for a live stream. <laughs> All right, so the next it is. Oh, it's the same thing. P-L-L doesn't really make much of a word. Neither does P-I-I. -I. Oh, no, they're aside. I'm sorry. So what does, what does aside for right arm and left arm mean? Aside, aside. Put your arm to right side and form a 90 degree. Oh, okay. All right. It's a pretty solid T, I think. Looking at the stream. I think this is a pretty solid T. Or an airplane. But I'm going to say T. Which I think pretty much confirms that it's not an L. It's probably an I. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Pit. Next function, please. All right, so that's another I, because it's right arm, left, left arm up, so it's another I. I'll, I'll do it later. All right, so this is left arm out, right arm out, left leg out. So what does out mean in all this weird coding we're doing? Out, put your left arm at a 90 degree angles in front of you, right? For, yeah, forward at a 90 degree angle. And then it's, so same thing here, right? Forward, it, all right. Interesting. And then left leg out. Put your left leg forward and stretch it at a 90 degree angle with your body. I'm going to, I will attempt to do this. All right, so first off, there's this again. We did this. And then it wants it wants this. Uh, this doesn't look like a, a letter. Unless... Ow. Unless this is a C, maybe? Do you want to call it a C? We'll call it a C. I really hurt my. Oh. oh, I don't stretch enough. All right. Oh, an F. Okay, we'll call it an F.
the, the only thing I'm worried about it being an F is why is it both hands? I mean, you can't see the other hand, but you also don't need it. Pitiful seems pretty accurate. Especially with the fact that I'm recording this. But uh, we're going to finish doing this. <laughs> this is the high quality stuff people want to see on this stream. All right, so this is everything out. Oh, wait. First, it's down. <laughs> I, I think you're dead on, but yeah. Down is lay on the ground, so, and then it's everything out, so... I think that's a you. Give it. Yeah. You. And then it's right leg out, left leg out. So, off, I don't want to fall, but it, it's this and then the other leg as well, which is pretty clearly an L. All right, camera move time. I'm just going to go ahead and do this now because I know I'm going to break the camera when I move it. Boop. Set this back up. Hi, welcome back. So, uh, I'm pretty sure the answer's pitiful. <laughs> Best level yet. No caps. This is it, guys. This is the end of the road. This officially could be the last uh, level. Uh, I forgot to put in the stuff here, Rachel. Pitiful. Goes to the end of the road, and I can't let go. I want to go deeper so badly, but uh, I will not do that publicly on a stream. Uh, I will probably keep playing, um, but uh, there might be a f a friends only uh, stream where we do this, or. Patreon exclusive? Huh? Maybe? I don't know if people would do that. <laughs> I kind of don't... I don't even want to continue at this point. because I, I also promised I'd delete the videos from YouTube, and it's the most popular thing I do. Alright. Let's view this page source. Typos are no mistakes. Okay, so we're proofreading. What would you do? 
Get up on my feet and stop making tired excuses. What would you do? Uh, all right, so the name of the picture is What Now? It's the same music as always. All right. Light, light a cigarette. You wanted to start in this game? Here it is. It was a rainy day. About 11 p.m. You're outside, but there's no place to hide from the rain. Except for one tree. You shouldn't go under a tree during a thunderstorm. It's dangerous. You wonder what the hell you are thinking by going to this, going out this late of night. Then you hear someone call you. Psh, I have something for you. Two pills. A red one and a blue one. Immediately, you have deja vu. A long time ago, you played Riddle number 14 in a game called Not Prawn and wrote the answer down in your yellow notebook. Where the Matrix was one of the clues. Your curiosity about this strange things wins, uh, thing wins from you your fear, and you take a pill. Do you choose the red pill or the blue pill? Um, I, I, I don't remember. Uh, level 14, the answer was deja vu. It wasn't like red pill or blue pill. Like I thought. I'm just going to take a guess. <laughs> Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eventually guess both of them. So, red pill. I think I took the blue pill. <laughs> blue pill. Oh. Maybe I just say blue. Maybe. I just say red. <laughs> All right. Maybe we go back to level 14. That's entirely possible. Uh, let's see if I have that in my bookmark still. I almost do. <laughs> well, it's like... <laughs> I have 13 and 15. What an idiot. All right, so... Let's go to 13... Actually, cancel. Uh, I don't actually. Well, let's do that in a new window so we can come back to this. Bookmarks. Yeah, I did this one. It was devil and hell. Right, okay, so we're back here at the level called Deja Vu, or where Deja Vu is the answer. Uh, and, and it does say Neo right here. So here's a weird idea. Instead of writing Deja Vu... Let's write blue pill. Let's try red pill. Maybe I want the red pill. <laughs> I 
Oh, fuck. You just click on these. <laughs> um, chat, what do you think? Red or blue? I, I don't remember. I know one pill, uh, you wake up in bed and think this whole thing's a dream. The other, uh, you see how you stay in Wonderland. Uh, Matrix pills. We can just watch this clip from the Matrix, right? <laughs> This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You I'm going to get a copyright strike. Take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. We're taking the red pill, guys. Um, red <laughs> pill. You know, there is a part of me <laughs> that should pick the blue pill because this is the ending. Right? The story continues. You took the red pill and now you're on a long journey. Have you chosen wisely? You feel weak, dizzy, and you black out. When you wake up, you're in... Oh, boy. Wake up again, you're in a room. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't do the, the storytelling voice. When you wake up again, you're in a room with an annoying dwarf in it. You took the red pill. You took the red pill. He dances around you. When you tell him to stop, he doesn't listen. He's almost like your little brother whose only living purpose seems to be to annoy you. You try to, the same tactic as your brother. After the shouting and threatening part, you completely ignore him. That was the right way, because the dwarf explodes in anger, leaving two doors behind. The first door, there's a head looking at you. The second door, there's a head looking away from you. What do you do now? You view the page source. <laughs> Nothing interesting. I would say, let, I, I want to hear your opinion in the chat, but I would say you take the second door because it's heading away from you, which means you'd enter it. If it's facing towards you, that means you're leaving that way. Anyone else have any logic on this one? And I, and I will say, unless this is the answer, there will be another episode because time is running out. I don't know. All right. <laughs> then, then based on your lack of commitment, I'm going to go through the second door. As I get a text message. Do, 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 do. All right, second door. What, what, what do you think, Rico? I said chat in general. Do you have an opinion? I'm leaning towards second door. Jesse doesn't know. You could tie things up and we'd have a stalemate. <laughs> Wait on you. Wait on you, Frico. We're let, we're, you're you're involved in this decision now. I do. <laughs> I don't. For some reason, I thought you wouldn't want me using your real name in this in the show. So, Bill, what do you think? <laughs> D 
door. Eh, der. Door. I'm all for the second door. Here we go. All right, here we are. Interesting. Uh, let's view the page source, huh? Why can't I not? What's going on? All right, view the page source. What's going on here? Behind Second Door is the name of this. Uh, it's called Second Door. There's a Google search. Passing by the first door could either be smart or a dumb move. When you access the Great Hall, the first thing you notice is a bright light coming from the ceiling. Could this be the way out? When you come closer, you can see a dark hole in the ground. It smells. You can count 63 snakes at, on the bottom and some hissing sounds say, Hiss. Well, that sounds promising. Uh, 63, I'm just going to look at my notebook real quick. Level 63, I didn't write down the password for. That was when I lost my notebook. So it wants me to Google, right? And I can choose between the drop or jumping out the window. Let's let's Google 63 snakes. I thought maybe 63 snakes would mean something. Hmm. Uh, I might just friggin' have it as a bookmark. Let's take a peek. 53? <laughs> That's not even close. Why is everything out of order? Well, shit. 61 seems to be the closest I can come. Oh, and I... Oh, I remember this one. It was such a freaking pain in the balls. Alright, gang. I, I think it's wise not to jump into snakes. What do you guys think? Snakes or no snakes? I'm voting no snakes. I'll read it again while, while I get your answers here. Passing by the first star could be either smart or a dumb move. When you access the Great Hall, the first thing you notice is a bright light coming from the ce ceiling. Could be, be the way out? When you come closer, there's also a dark hole in the ground. It smells. You can count 63 snakes on the bottom and some hissing sounds say, well, that sounds promising. Where do you go now? It's past five. We could also just stop here. All right, I, that's two votes for snakes in my book. Snakes. What? Half of X is 
equals V half of half of I X I X is nine and half of X I half of X I is Yeah, so it's the answer is four and a half and five and a half. Cancel. Yeah, I know. I like. I know it's Roman numerals, but it says half of nine. See, because it says half of IX. So half of nine is, is four and a half. And then half of 11 is five and a half. I don't know, I'll give it a try. Four and, and a half. Five and a half. Not it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the window and see if I can figure out that password easier. Uh, six, five, nine, ten, four, blank, five. Five hundred, one, ten, nine, 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 four, one, blank, eleven, five hundred. Eighteen and twenty two that is based on what, Bill? <laughs> uh, I don't think it's four point five as an answer because I don't I, I think at the beginning it says no punctuation in passwords. That's the that's the only reason I wouldn't go with those. Uh, Bill, I'd love to know how you got 18 and 22 before I guess them. Because I'll guess them. Oh, oh, this is for the other one. Um... Let me take a look. No, because it says here half of X is is V. Oh! Do you think I should answer in Roman numerals? Is there a way to do a half in Roman numerals? One half in Roman numerals. Numerals. So SS actually equals one half. Oh, it is the top half. That's a good point. All right. So we, we got two ideas here, but SS is a half apparently. So let's try that first. Oh, uh, it's not letting the password come back up. There we go. All right, so half is four, so it would be IV SS. And then half of uh, 11 would be VSS. No. All right, so you're saying top half, which I do really like this idea. So half of IX would be IV. And half of XI would be VI. Ha ha! 
Good job, Jesse. That's correct, but I'm afraid you missed a clue earlier. Rats! Well, whenever I do one of these choose your own adventures, there's no going back. You know, when I read one of those choose your own adventure books, I don't keep my finger on the pitch. Like, to, to go back. I stick with the, whatever decision I make. And then if I die in that book, that book is over. And I don't, I don't pick it up anymore. I, I've completed that book. I watched Bandersnatch once. He got a job at a company and his game sucked. And then I did, that's it. That was the whole experience for me. And he had, and he had Frosted Flakes. Uh. Wow. Uh, so this is exciting. It's exciting the idea that uh, there will be multiple... I'll check the source code. Nothing here. Yeah, I, I think we, we correctly solved that answer, but that was not the way we were supposed to go. So, uh, in order to, to stay true to my morals, uh, that's the end. We're not, we're not going to do any more of this. The end is I get eaten by snakes. That's my morals. If you, if you really want me to, to try another route, we got to start at level one again. Do the whole thing. So thank you so much for joining. I'm kidding. Next week, <laughs> I will be back and we will solve this level. The final level of this stream. I can. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> 18. 22. Twenty-two. They were good thoughts, Bill. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have an idea of which way I should go, do you think I should go back and have the blue pill? Do you think I should go back and go through the first door? Do you think I should go out the window? Let me know in the, the comments below. Whatever's there, I'm doing immediately next week. This is the last level of the stream. After I beat level 79, I promised I would stop. So I'm going to stop after this, and the videos will eventually be deleted. So catch up now. If you're already at this video, you're pretty much caught up. There's probably not going to be many more after this. But catch up while you can. Uh, this has been the Not Prawn Riddle. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, join me every Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so you can be here for what is probably the final stream of the Not Prawn Riddle. And uh, I'll see you next time. Mm.